guys, Interrex here, back with a brand new video on the Hypixel network. So today I'm giving a PvP guide. I uh, just a small disclaimer: I'm not a leaderboard player, so I might say some stuff wrong. I probably won't, but just small disclaimer. Anyways, let's start this tutorial. So. We actually won't be going first. I just need to tell you some stuff you need to do first. First, FOV. I am used to f 54, and when I change it to like 70, I can't play like this. It's just wrong. It's, it's like, I don't know why. So, don't make the mistake I did and get used to a FOV. Also, get a texture pack. Texture packs can help you a lot. First, they can boost your FPS. They can also give you like swords that are shorter. And, and they can also give you other useful stuff like clear water instead of like that dark water. And you know when you burn? Yeah, they can make the fire smaller to help you PvP. So that's some stuff texture packs can do. Also, get a client. I'm using Badline client. If you have a pretty bad PC, uh, use Labby mod. It's also pretty good. But I recommend Badline. They add some interesting stuff like this, your CPS, your like, other stuff as you can all see here a bunch of stuff that can help you in a game also badline has super zoom which is actually really useful in games anyways let's start the important stuff movement this is more for like if you want to learn bed wars like get better at like bed wars and like bridging games stuff like that you can just like skip past the movement part as it, it's not as important just skip to the timestamp on stream if you just want PvP, because I'm going to be explaining movement for Bed Wars and then movement for PvP. So, you need to be able to do... S you need to be able to do stuff like that and not fall off after. Just You can make like yourself a training course. I am humiliating myself. Garbage. Hello, Hypixel. Anyways, Hypixel. Like, you need to be able to do this without messing up. There we go. I did it. I'm not trash. I messed that one up because of that slope. That's my excuse. <laughs> so, yeah. Movement is important, like going around bridges, placing blocks. Wall bridging is also important. This is not really for Bed Wars, but it's still a good skill to have and stuff and I recommend trying making like bed war situations like this situation happened to me and just like practice doing them like situations that happen to you in bed wars just like practice what like working with them so if something similar happens you can do it for example this situation happened to me and I went like that and placed the block there and fell and I fell and lost the game. But now I rebuilt that situation in a housing lobby. And now I can go like this and see like what I could have done. And if a situation like this comes again, I'll know what to do. Then you have bridging. Bridging is like important, fairly important. Uh, I'm trying to learn Schmeller bridging. It's pretty hard. Uh, Schmeller bridging is when you hold like your shift for like one second. It's a little bit faster than God bridging, but you have like bridging and stuff. I also built this bridge for like bridge encounters. Like for example, let me grab a sword. Um, PvP, diamond sword. I already had a diamond sword. Anyways, like a normal player would, pr a normal player would, or like, yeah, a normal player would like probably like, hit them, maybe like go like that, but I would place a block to stop their movement and then I'll jump on the block and block hit them off 
that's what I would do. So, situations, or like if you have like a diagonal bridge, like there, or you can do this. Place a block and then hit them off. So like try learning like situations to kill people on bridges if you want to do bed wars. Like place a block, stop the move and jump on top and then hit them off. Also, block hitting. Learn how to block hit. It's really useful. You don't take as much KB. Also, learn how to get a good click speed. For this, you need a good mouse. Because, for example, when I double click, one sec. There, I double click, I only get one CPS instead of two. As you can see here. Now you have, like, now, here, hello guys who want to skip the bed worst part. This is the time step on screen. Normal PvP encounters. A normal player would probably go like this, but I would place some blocks, stop their movement. And go like that. P pretend this is not void. Or for example, if it was like this, and like, you know, I would stay down here and hit them. Because, because of how damage works. One sec. Because of how damage works, it's how you're facing. So they need to face more down, and I'm facing straight at their legs. So you kind of have more reach. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's interaction with the future. Yeah, I forgot to say that high ground is not, I mean low ground is not always the best. Low ground is good when you have like a flat area in like normal combat. But for like bed wars, High ground is uh, sometimes good, usually good, because you can just like build up, place a TNT and like destroy their bed. Yeah. Also, walls, very important. Get your back to a wall and just kill the person. Very important thing. So yeah, next we have terrain, like other stuff, using other stuff. Like for example, you have rods, you have bows, you have healing, you have ender pearls. You can use all of those for really good things. For example, I can hit, hit a guy, rod them a little bit to keep their distance, have enough time to gap up, ender pearl to them, and then hit them up, kill them, rod them again, stop their movement. Like, you can do stuff with like other things. You also have lava. I also have lava, water, flint, and steel. Place a water to slow their movement. Go in, kill them a bit. You know, you place the water. You go in like this with blocks. Smack them up a bit. Then you got a few free kills. I mean, not kills, hits. So yeah, basically, like, learn learn your items. Like, flint and steel, I can flint and steal them a bit. And then hit them. And, because, like, fire, and they're taking more damage. Or like lava, I can place a lava. I wish I had buckets, but okay. You can place a lava, remove it quickly, so they're just burning, and then smack them up if you don't have a flint and steel. Like other items that aren't like swords, armor, they're really useful for killing people, especially blocks. Blocks are the way to go. You can do whatever you want with them. If you want, you can literally just bridge up and camp up there, make a sky base, and live there for the rest of your life. Or you can just bridge on top of them and get their bed. Then like ender pearl away or something, I don't know. Like, use items. And here's a good terrain to practice on. Like, get the low ground, low ground is useful. I wish I could place blocks, but place some blocks, stop their movement, kill them. 